This is Colin from Mississauga Guitar Lesson. Today we're going to be going over Selfish by Madison Beer. The way that I do it, I don't believe to be 100% like it is on the recording, but I think that this sounds the most like it while using the least amount of difficult chord changes. So let's give this a shot. The first chord we're going to be holding is a simple G chord or a G5 chord that we can do just by holding our third finger on the third fret of the sixth string. Now I'm going to go over the picking pattern, which I do as a finger picking style, but you'd be welcome to use a pick for. So you're just starting off with your thumb on the sixth string, and then we're going to go to our index finger on the fourth string, back to our thumb, and then over to our middle finger on the third string. Then we do a slight pause, back to our index on the fourth, back to our thumb on the sixth, back to our index on the fourth. So you got six, four, six, three, pause, four, six, four, that's six, four, six, three, pause, four, six, four, four, and when we hear that go continuously, it'll sound like this. essentially that picking style through all of the chords in the song, and I'm going to continue to use the same three fingers to do all of the chords that way. So we do the G chord, uh, and most of the chords are going to be going two times through that pattern. So the G chord is two times through that pattern. Now we're moving to our second chord. It's a bit of a weird sounding one. We're going to start with our middle finger on the second fret of the sixth string and our index finger on the first fret of the fourth string. We're doing exactly the same picking pattern on that one. And again, two times in a row as well. It sounds a little dark when you do it just like that, but that's what the chord is. Then we're going to go to the next chord, which is really just the top part of a C. So we're going to start with our ring finger on the third fret of the fifth string and our middle finger on the second fret of the fourth string. We're going to use the same picking pattern for that one, but this time we need to move our thumb from the sixth string to the fifth string, but then our index and middle on our right hand are doing the same thing as before. So you're going five, four, five, three, four, five, four, and then again that goes two times in a row as well, so you got Then for the last chord of this section, we're going to move to a C minor. We do that by keeping our ring finger where it already is and then moving our index finger to the first fret of the fourth string. Uh, we're going to start by doing the picking pattern the same way we did before. Five, four, five, three, four, five, four. Uh, except we only want to do that picking pattern one time on this one and then there's this one high note which is just the first fret on the second string. So now this note's a little bit of a tricky one to catch. Uh, the way that I've been doing it is just getting my middle finger to reach down to the first fret of the second string. We might find that a little bit difficult to get that chord. We could also do it, sort of do it, barring our first finger or just moving our 
first finger to it as quickly as possible. Uh, whatever works out best for you. If you find that note a little bit tricky to catch, you can just leave it out uh, and then just end on that chord there. But that becomes the pattern that we're going to use throughout the verse. Uh, we'll repeat that uh, three times in a row before the chorus comes in. So all together, it's going to go like this. So we just repeat that pattern over and over until we start the chorus. The first chord of the chorus goes back to the C chord, so we're our third finger on the third fret of the fifth string and our second finger on the second fret of the fourth string. We're going to do our picking pattern the same way that we've been doing, uh, except throughout the chorus we're going to only be going through that picking pattern one time per chord. So you got your C chord. Uh, the next thing that we're going to do is slide up to a D add 11 chords, so you're just taking the same finger shape that you got here, the third and second finger, and then just sliding that up to the fifth and fourth frets away from the capo. Uh, we do that one time, and then we're going to go back to our simple G chords. You just need to get one finger to the third fret of the sixth string, changing your picking pattern so your thumb hits the sixth string. one is the uh, B augmented chord so that'll be your second finger on the second fret of the fifth string and your first finger on the first fret of the fourth string so again that pattern of four chords went from the C to the D at 11 to the G to the B augmented so we're going to continuously repeat the first part of that pattern, but every time there's a variation to the ending. So again, we're going to start off with our C chord that slides up to the D at 11. But instead of going back to the G this time around, we're going to slide into an E flat sharp 9 chord. So you're uh, going to slide up your third finger one fret, so it's six frets away from the capo, and then put your first finger on the fourth fret away from the capo uh, and then we're going to be doing the picking pattern one time on that uh, and then that's also going to slide up one more fret so just those two fingers together just sliding up one and then that's that part of that pattern so again that's c to the d at 11 to the e flat to the E minor. Okay, so that's our second variation. Now the third time through is exactly the same as the first time through. So you got your C to the D, back to G, and then the B augmented. So then the fourth variation isn't so much a variation as it is just a completely different part. So we're going to start again with that top part of that C chord, uh, but then we're going to add our pinky finger to the second string third fret. Uh, we're going to start off our picking pattern similarly to before where we do the fifth string, fourth string, fifth string, third string, then fourth string, fifth string, fourth string, and then we're going to just hit that second string to get that high note that we're holding with our pinky. So it's like... pause on that one and then we move back to our C minor chord. So again our index finger going back to the first fret on the fourth string and then somehow holding that first fret on the second string. And then that's the whole chorus part. So all together it's going to sound like this.
that exactly that way every time the chorus comes up in the song. Uh, so between the first and the chorus, those two parts are going to just going to go back and forth in various forms throughout the whole song, but that's essentially the whole thing. If you want to see exactly what order those are going in with the song, you can check that out in the tablature, which will be available in the description below. If you enjoyed this video, please like or subscribe or leave a comment below. If you'd be interested in taking lessons with me, I am available for one-on-one -on -one Skype classes. You can get in contact with me by visiting my website listed in the description below, where I'll also be leaving a link for the tablature for the song that we just went over. Take care!